In this video, I'll show you how to ban a selection of subtitles to a video in Subtitle Edit. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, this is a new feature in Subtitle Edit 3.6.12 and it's a highly welcome feature. And here's the reason. Let's assume you're working on a project and a client wants to see if the style of the subtitles, uh, the background and everything looks like they want it to be. This is highly welcome because instead of uh, waiting to finish your project and then banning in the subtitles to a full video, you can just send them a selection of a video. Now, this is how you access it. Two ways. The first method is going to video. Let's click on video. Generate video with banned in subtitles. Click on this. And once you do that, you can click on this cut checkbox. And from here, you can select the from time and the to time. So you can add it manually right here and right here, or you can click on these three dots to go to the seek of this particular option to say, for example, you want the subtitles to be from there and then you click OK. And then you'll see that it, it has actually entered the eight second mark. And then you can click on this particular section. And then let's say we want to go as you seek here, you can see the seconds and uh, seek, let's say we go to 20 first. So click OK. Now it gives you from the 8th second to the 21st second. Let's assume that's a 13 second video and that's what you want to send to a client. One thing you need to note is that if you're working on this particular project uh, using Subrip SRT subtitles, the font that you see here is the preview font uh, Tahoma, that is. But for your subtitles, if I click on preview, they're going to be using the fonts on this side. So if I just make this slightly smaller uh, so that we can see what uh, we have right here, the font right here, the size and the font family and everything that you've selected here is what is going to be available here. So make sure that before you uh, maybe uh, ban a select version to your client and send it to your client, then you change this to the fonts that probably you've agreed with your client. Let's say we go with Arial. Let's say we go with something like font number, let's say 48. We can just input that and then let's click on preview and see the results. So you see there's a very major difference with what we had uh, just right about now and what we have uh, right now. So this is probably something that you can actually uh, work with. Uh, but we can actually bring that down a little bit to maybe 36 and then we click on preview. And then you'll have something like that. Looks a little bit better. Uh, the text might be too much, but this is for demonstration purposes. And once you're satisfied with that, click on generate. You're going to just generate it this way in this folder, save. And there it goes. It's a, it's a short video. Click on open. Let's go to the folder. Double click on it. YouTube transcripts. Uh, sorry. Uh, here we go. So play the video. YouTube transcripts. Hi, my name is David from freelancerinsights.com where we believe. So it's a little bit off because it's automatic transcription and subtitling I've used for demonstration purposes. So that is what it looks like. That looks good. But if you'd like to get a better look and feel to your subtitles, I'd recommend using ASSA subtitles. So from this section, we're going to click on this particular drop down and then select advanced substation alpha dot ASS. Click on that and you'll get uh, maybe uh, the, the, the most recent option you used. But if you'd like to edit out a couple of things, I can click on this A, just click on that. And then this is the default. You can save your own styles right here so that you can use them over and over again. You can also import, export, etc. But let's say we want that particular option. Mm, let's say we want that. And then we can say, uh, let's say we do an outline, remove that. Uh, if you apply and I've moved this to the side slightly so that when I click on apply, you'll see the changes right here in real time. We can say we do uh, the outline like that. And then you can actually even bold if you wanted. Let's apply. And that is what you get. So if you're looking for that kind of look and feel, uh, that is what we're actually going to work with. So they look good. You can see the outline. Let the outline be something like a yellow. 
uh, let's apply and then the primary let's see we also have a primary of like black let's see if that works well for this yeah, i think it works well looks like that click ok and you have your subtitles right inside there now let's use the second option to burn a selection uh, to a video so let's say we go with this and select a couple of lines here let's say we go with that right click selected lines generate video with banding subtitles click on that and you'll notice that the cut section is already set right here the settings for these are actually locked the only available is the fix right to left via unicode control characters are still available if you click on preview what you'll get is the same uh, kind of fonts that we have in the preview here because you're using ASSA subtitles that looks good and if you're satisfied with that click on generate and then we can actually call this ASSA version and then click on save it's going to burn into the video and then open the folder we can now preview this one just double click play with the recent update on the and you'll get this what you have set it's really really awesome and being able to ban subtitles to a selection of a video will help you reduce the back and forth with your client especially when you're working on a project and you need to come to terms with a particular style that the client wants and so on and so forth so I'd recommend ASSC subtitles, especially when you want to burn in subtitles to the video with a couple of styling and so on and so forth. And then you can either select a couple of lines and then use this option for selected lines to generate video with banding subtitles or just go up to video, generate video with banding subtitle. That is how you can use that particular option. That's it for this video. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning. Thanks for watching.